Okay guys, so welcome to another video of me, Crazy Skin Dog, and today, um, no vlog parts for today. I, um, I didn't bother recording any, is the honest answer, when I got to the track. Um, my dad came along to this one, so I spent, spent some time hanging out with him. Um, enjoying the sunshine, the weather was beautiful. Uh, this is round two. Um, I haven't put round one up yet, that one wasn't quite as enjoyable, it was wet. But yeah, lovely dry day, sun's out. And uh, yeah, I'm seeded number eight today. And as you can see, heat one here, we're starting third behind Peyton in first. And uh, we're gonna try and just follow him through and take that second place, there we go. And we get an all right start. Second gets a good start, but he's on the outside and we're just gonna follow Peyton through and we're gonna hold this inside line. He is gonna get ahead of us, but we're gonna keep our space there. I'm gonna try and leave space there. We do clip him a little bit, um, which holds him up a, a slight bit. I tried to leave as much space as I could. Um, he wasn't too impressed with me uh, straight after the race, but we had a chat a little bit later on, um, and uh, and all was good. It's it's a real tight corner that one. They probably really need to reprofile it because it's just just a bit too tight. I, I tried my absolute hardest to leave space for him there, but there just isn't space for two carts wide. You, you just yeah, you end up having to do some weird turning right into a left hander to to kind of give him space. You see, I've gone slightly defensive here. I think he's still on my tail. We did have a good race long battle um, in this one and we'll, we'll follow it through for this heat but um, yeah we're, we're used to this by now, you've seen plenty of this on my channel, me driving around Castle Coombe, um, yeah it's, it's all pretty standard. The car I had in this one, car 2, I didn't, I didn't like, um, I had this in heat 1 and heat 2 and I really couldn't get on with it. Ollie and Ryan said it was the fastest cart in the in the pre-event test, so uh, it's just me. Clearly, I'm just rubbish. Um, but no, I don't know. I just couldn't get it to get out of the corners properly. It was making a weird little noise, but that was just some clutch plates rattling or something. It wasn't actually affecting the performance too bad. Just out of this corner here, I couldn't seem to get much drive. Um, I seemed to be seemed to be losing speed through through the chicane, and then being pushed up the hill. You see that check over my shoulder there. Go slightly defensive and just kind of hug that inside line, make sure there's no way past. At this point, I know I'm not catching Peyton up ahead, so I'm just taking the defensive line, securing this second place as we come round onto the last lap. You see here, the guy, you don't see it there, but the, the guy behind me tries to send his nose up the inside on that left-hander there, but I managed to keep it keep it pointing forwards and uh, and no dramas out of that in the end. He didn't, he didn't lose any places, I didn't lose any places, so it's all good. It was a really good battle, obviously the trouble with would be being the, the front cart in this battle is you don't actually see any of it behind but it was a really good battle, I really enjoyed it and uh, I didn't catch the driver's name but shout out to him, we, uh, we had a little bit of a chat as I said after this one, uh, he wasn't happy with me but then we had a bit another chat later on and I actually ended up having, having a really good chat so uh, you see I give him a thumbs up there because I felt like it was a really good, really good battle but good way to start the day, third to second, always good to, to go up a position in your heat so let's see how heat two goes. Okay guys, heat two, my pole heat, um, yeah, starting first, I've got to finish first, haven't I? It's, uh, it's that simple at Coombe. Um, again, I had cart two for this one, I didn't like it first heat, so we'll, we'll see how I can go in it. Um, yeah, get lined up there, waiting for the lights, checking, checking I'm okay. Wait for the lights, wait for the lights, waiting for the lights. There we go, green, and away we go, and we get an alright start. Yeah, seconds, seconds dealt with. We take the inside line, and uh, yeah, we're we're away through the chicane, nice and clean, no issues. Take a look over our shoulder, no dramas there, and uh, yeah, heat's away. We're looking good. Just got to hold it now and uh, set the fastest laps I can, and and get the win. And I think we're gonna skip this. You've watched enough of me driving around Coombe, so we'll skip to the end of the heat as I cross the finish line here. And uh, yeah, we, we win the heat, no, no dramas. Had to defend a little bit, but nothing, nothing we can, couldn't manage. So, a second and a first after two heats, into heat three and see how we go for that one. So then, heat three? Yeah, this is heat three. <laughs> um, and we are starting third again. We had uh, kind grids today, first, third, third and fifth. Always good to be on the inside in the dry, as you are almost guaranteed to jump the, the guy on the even side unless he pulls across in front of you. So here we are in place, third place, the green light away we go, and we get a much better start than the guy in second, so we are ahead there. First, absolutely flew away, but let's see what we can do. We're gonna get our heads down, see if we can't reel him in. He's already got a bit of a decent lead though, but he's taken a wide line through the chicane, 
hopefully that's going to give us a chance if he, if he keeps taking a wide line like that. And we slide at the top corner, nearly spin out, only just managed to hold on to it to prevent the spin there. That could have been disaster. Um, yeah, breaks a little bit more pinch on this one, but as you see coming down the hill, I've just gathered him in, gathered him in, gathered him in. And then he slid on the apex, and I'm going to stick my nose up the inside, and I probably should back out there, but he's, he's just giving me the space. Um, yeah, just just psyched him out, been, been far too polite to me basically. Um, yeah, I, I was expecting to have to kind of ease out, but when he didn't turn across in front of me and I didn't need to, just kind of left it there and then then he's looked across, seen me there and uh, and just kind of been a bit too kind and, and not closed me off. Um, I did have a chat with him after and say, look, in that situation, just shut the door on me, get across and, uh, and block that off. But once again, we'll jump to the end of this heat because now cruise off into the sunshine and take another heat victory after heat three um, and yeah nice and easy okay and fortunately for my heat four recap you're gonna have to just watch me prep him for the final because um, yeah the battery I left the GoPro running after heat three stopped recording then when I got in the car I tried to start recording again and the battery wouldn't work despite having nearly 60% charge and uh, I just needed to pull it out and stick it back in but with my gloves on in the pit lane and everybody being ready to go I, uh, I didn't have a chance to, to pull it out and stick it back in and get it working so the camera didn't work for heat 4 but I started 5th, had Ben Chick in 3rd ahead of me and uh, yeah just kind of did the usual, stick the inside, get your elbows out round the chicane follow Ben through when he made a move for first and yeah just ended up following Ben for, for the rest of the heat was catching him a little bit then he was pulling away a little bit catching him a little bit but um, yeah no dramas just got straight up into second and, and held it and that gave us two firsts and two second places on the day and that was actually enough for pole position in the A final okay guys so yeah A final pole position all we got to do now is just convert it into a win but we do have some very fast drivers behind us we got uh, Peyton in second, we got Aaron Ball in third directly behind us and um, Ben Chick is in fifth behind him so yeah there's, uh, there's a challenge on our hands here as you see we look over our shoulder waiting for, uh, for the guys at the back to catch up and get into place and we're just gonna yeah we're just gonna take the inside line defend and uh, see what see what happens as we wait for the green light there it is, away we go, and we get a really poor start, and Peyton flies, but then in the second phase we just manage to, uh, to get a burst, and we, we keep that inside line, we give him plenty of space on the outside, but then we're going to get first to the chicane, again we leave him space, but he can't quite get through there, and we're on the inside for the, the right hand corner at the top, as you see we take a very defensive line there, and just kind of block everybody off behind us, and same coming down the hill, we just wanted to guarantee to be in the lead at the end of the first lap, and then we can settle and uh, hopefully whoever's in third can start to put pressure on Aaron in second behind me and give me a bit of breathing space but as we're going to see that is not quite the case early on as we look over our shoulder can't see him in view there so we we take the normal line he's lost a bit but then we slide a bit and that is not not ideal uh, this is the same cart as I nearly spun in I had cart seven twice today and uh, yeah I was I was pinching the brakes a little bit in this one so it was causing me to lock up and slide a lot but I'm going to keep my head down, I'm going to keep concentrated and we're, we're going to hopefully hold on here as Aaron's putting us under a lot of pressure as we see he's right on our tail there so we're going to take the super defensive line and we're going to keep it on the inside and we're just going to block him off and take that super super defensive coon line which makes it very hard to get past there's just no space on the inside so you're basically challenging them to go round the outside you see we take the middle line in towards the hairpin just to deter any lunges up the inside there and hopefully we can uh, can keep him behind. Another look over the shoulder, looks like there's a little bit more space this time but we're still going to defend and take that tight line, we rub the barriers a little bit but it doesn't seem to hurt us and we're going to take a defensive line down the hill as well and just make sure there's no gap for any noses to be stuck up the inside. We know it's eight laps, we know we can defend, middle of the road again into the hairpin it's not the fastest route but it's certainly the one that's keeping me in the lead currently and uh, I'm basically just challenging Aaron to find that gap to get past me and as again we see I, I defend the inside, I slide on the apex which just means he gives me a little nudge which is fine, it's all good as long as it's after the apex you, you're actually happy for that little nudge, it gets you out the corner quicker 
and um, yeah, we're uh, we're holding on. We've got round the hairpin that time fairly clean, no issues. Come round the chicane, we can take a look over our shoulder again as we as as we have done every lap, and then we take a second look because actually he's not on our tail that time, so we were surprised. We got to take the race in line, but we've. Uh, We've not taken that top corner great, we've taken a slight defensive line down the hill and uh, I think he's back on our tail again, this is trouble we're not being able to see behind you on the on the footage you can't see just how much he clawed me back and kept challenging me and just kept me under pressure for the whole heat but I just kept cool, took my line and uh, I drove as fast as I can you see I'm, he's on my tail so I'm going defensive again clipped the barrier even harder that time but as I said, unless he goes right the way around the outside and you have to be much faster to manage that, it's just so hard to overtake here if you know how to how to defend it. He was trying to get a switch back on me at the top corner, which is the best way to overtake here, a switch back on the top corner, but I know that. And <laughs> another double look again as he's, he's dropped behind me there. I know that the switch back at the top corner is the best way to overtake and I know how hard it is to overtake by driving all the way around the outside and we see there Ollie's got the chequered flag little fist pump for the victory and that is uh, that's a great little victory there and we'll give uh, Aaron a thumbs up and uh, a, a well raced because he drove an absolutely brilliant race just couldn't find the way through me um, but mega respect to Aaron there he drove fairly, he drove hard just, uh, just couldn't quite find the way through unfortunately for him he was definitely much faster than me in the final but Castle Coombe, you defend that inside and you can probably win and win we did a victory at Coombe again another trophy, first podium in Castle Coombe Karting Championship well happy with that, well happy so yeah that will do it for this one, we'll see you in the next video guys have a good day